the world of action cameras has always been about balancing size, image quality, and versatility. Over the years, companies like GoPro, Insta360, and DJI have been racing to find the perfect formula that gives users professional results in the smallest possible package. Now, DJI is preparing to introduce what could be one of its most exciting products yet, the DJI Osmo Nano. This small, modular action camera has been appearing in leaks and previews online. And from what we know so far, it seems DJI is aiming to set a new benchmark in the ultra-compact camera market. Designed for creators who want freedom, speed, and portability, the Osmo Nano could easily become a game-changer not just for vloggers and travelers, but also for anyone who enjoys capturing life's moments without the bulk of traditional gear. At its core, the DJI Osmo Nano is all about simplicity and portability. The leaked design suggests a very compact modular system that combines a camera unit with a magnetic base. This means users can detach the camera, mount it in creative ways, and still have a pocket-sized base to control and monitor their recordings. This modular design has been used before in DJI's Action 2, but the Osmo Nano takes it to an even smaller level. The idea seems to be inspired by the success of the Insta360 GO series, which built its reputation around tiny wearable cameras that could be mounted anywhere. By creating a product that is both lightweight and modular, DJI is clearly signaling its intent to compete directly with Insta360 while offering features that may set it apart. One of the most striking features of the Osmo Nano is its magnetic mounting system. Unlike regular action cameras that rely on clips, cages, or sticky mounts, this camera attaches magnetically to different surfaces or accessories. Reports suggest that it even uses a polarity reversal system, meaning it can be mounted on both the back and the sides, giving creators more flexibility in how they set up their shots. Imagine being able to quickly snap the camera to your shirt, cap, bike, or even your pet's collar without worrying about bulky mounts. For people who enjoy fast, on-the-go shooting, this design could be one of the biggest attractions of the Nano. It makes the camera feel less like a tool and more like a natural extension of your creative process. When it comes to image quality, DJI is expected to deliver performance that rivals much larger action cameras. Leaks suggest the Osmo Nano will be able to shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second, a specification that is now considered essential for high-end action cams. Along with this, there are expectations of HDR video support, which would allow the camera to handle challenging lighting conditions and produce vibrant footage even when shadows and highlights are both present in the frame. Stabilization is also rumored to be one of its strongest features, likely using DJI's Rocksteady 3.0 technology. This means smooth, shake-free footage, even when running, cycling, or capturing action sports. DJI has years of experience with stabilization through both its drones and handheld gimbals, so it is reasonable to expect that the Osmo Nano will carry this expertise into a much smaller package. Another important detail is the camera's weight and portability. Reports suggest that the main camera module weighs somewhere around 50 to 60 grams, with some leaks pointing to 53 grams. That makes it one of the lightest action cameras on the market, especially when compared to competitors. This weight advantage opens up entirely new ways of using the device. It becomes realistic to mount it in places where heavier cameras would be impractical, like the brim of a hat or on small moving objects. For vloggers and lifestyle creators, carrying such a lightweight tool in their pocket means they can always be ready to capture spontaneous content without feeling weighed down. Storage has also been an area where DJI seems to be giving users more flexibility, Unlike many ultra-compact cameras that rely solely on built-in memory, the Osmo Nano is expected to come in both 64GB and 128GB models, while also supporting microSD cards. This combination is very appealing as it removes the worry of running out of space during longer shoots. Built-in storage ensures the camera is always ready without requiring a card, while expandable storage allows creators to keep filming without constantly managing files. This is a smart approach that balances convenience and practicality. Battery performance and charging speed are always a concern with small cameras, and DJI appears to have addressed this with fast charging capabilities. 
the leaks indicate that the Nano can charge from 0 to 80% in just 20 minutes, which is impressive for such a compact device. For users, this means less downtime and more freedom to keep shooting throughout the day. If this claim holds true, it would be one of the fastest charging times in its category, giving DJI another edge over its competition. Since portability is one of the Nano's biggest selling points, having equally fast charging makes the overall user experience even smoother. The inclusion of an OLED touchscreen in the base module also adds to the appeal of the Osmo Nano. Unlike some miniature action cameras that force you to rely entirely on a smartphone app for control, the Nano provides a built-in screen for quick adjustments, previews, and navigation. This may seem like a small detail, but in practice it could save time and make the device much more versatile. Price is always a deciding factor in this competitive market, and according to the leaks, DJI has priced the Osmo Nano very aggressively. The 64GB version is expected to cost around €369, Euros, while the 128GB version will be about €399. Euros. These prices put it in direct competition with the Insta360 GO series, particularly the GO 3S and the GO Ultra. Considering DJI's strong reputation for hardware quality and stabilization, many consumers might find the Nano a more attractive option, especially if it delivers on all the promised features. The pricing strategy clearly shows that DJI is targeting the growing market of everyday creators who want a powerful, pocket-sized camera without spending too much. The release date has also been a point of interest, with most reports pointing towards September 10, 2025. If this timeline is correct, it means DJI is positioning the Osmo Nano just ahead of the holiday season, a smart move to capture buyers looking for gifts or upgrades before the year ends. The timing also suggests that DJI is fully aware of the competitive landscape and wants to make sure its new product launches at a moment when creators are paying close attention to tech releases. The excitement around the Osmo Nano is not just about its specs, but also about the potential it unlocks. By combining ultra-lightweight design, fast charging, strong stabilization, modular flexibility, and competitive pricing, DJI is entering a space that has been dominated by smaller players like Insta360. If DJI executes well, the Osmo Nano could shift consumer expectations and even push competitors to rethink their strategies. For creators, this competition is a good thing, as it leads to more choices and better value. People are especially interested in the fact that the Nano's base is small enough to fit comfortably in a pocket, making it both portable and practical. These small design choices reflect DJI's deep understanding of user needs, and it will be interesting to see how these translate in real-world performance.